Hi everyone, I'm Elle and today I wanted to share my most used handbags of 2022. So these handbags are not necessarily my favorite handbags or like bags that I think that everybody needs in their collection, but these are simply the bi top five bags that I have used the most this year. So um, let me start with my work bag. Um, this bag is oh, this bag is the Celine um, belt bag in the color like dune I think is what it's called it's either called like dune or tan or something like that but um, yes this bag I got years and years and years ago but I literally use this every day when I go to work and it is definitely a workhorse of a bag I normally close it like this but I think the actual way you're supposed to close it is like this and as you can see that's a little fussy for me but yeah i definitely toss this bag around it has held up um really nicely it's really beautiful i like how it has a shoulder carry and a top handle um and it fits literally everything i could possibly need for work i don't have to carry like laptops or files or anything like that but i can definitely fit my lunch in here and like my essential stuff um, that I need daily and then maybe like a small purse if I know them going out after work But yes, this is my most used bag this year for sure because um, On the days that I am working. This is what I use um, So yeah, um, I I think I have a video of my work bag So if you want to go ahead and check that out you can but when I um Generally, when I want a work bag, I want something that's a little understated and doesn't scream like luxury because I don't want to be judged at work, but I still want to try to stay true to myself and, you know, this is what I like and this is a hobby of mine. So, yes, this is my bag of choice. Sometimes I'll switch it out for different bags, but this is for sure my most used bag of this year. So let me take the clip off. <laughs> this is my Celine belt bag that I use as my work bag. So, yep, that is my number one most used bag. And then after this one, I don't really know how to rank them because um, <laughs> I don't really know how to rank them because I don't keep track of like um, bags that I wear daily, but this is kind of just a guesstimate. So I guess my next one is actually a new addition, I think out of all of the bags that I'm gonna show you. This is my newest. Um, this is the Dior Mini in the color gray, and it matches my nails. And this one is so, 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 so pretty. And because it's new and I have used it so much, I feel like this one should be added to my top five because, um, oh, my dog is actually right over here in this corner, so if he's making noises, um, ignore him but yes um, I would say that this is definitely in my top five because I have bought it so recently and yet I've still worn it so much and it's just it's like a good mixture of um, really pretty and functional for me so I am really loving this bag and this size um, I still have to film a first impression, so I should add that of my list of things to do. But yes, I love her so much. This is the size with the chain strap. Oh, this is how I stuff it. But yes, this one has the chain straps that you can wear cross body. It's still small, but care, but you can fit a lot of like all the things that I would need on a daily basis. But yes, I am really loving this bag, and it's definitely. Um, in the top five of most used bags this year, even though it's so new. So I will put it over here. I didn't add any bags that I recently, recently bought because I, th I feel like those haven't had a chance to be worn yet. And I got this one, I think in October and I've used it so much. So I thought I added a, a justified the spot. Um, the next bag I would add, I guess would be, this is not in, order of like 
most used, but like this is just like generally top five besides that one that I know for sure that I've used the most. Anyways, <laughs> this one is the Multi Pochette in the color Cream from Louis Vuitton. Um, this one has been my definite um, go-to bag for the summer. I think just the color of it and because it's so versatile. Um, oh. Oh, I was looking for these. I have a little, little tiny scrunchies <laughs> or little hair ties. But anyways, um, yes, this is definitely my um, most used bag this summer, I would say, because it's so versatile. And um, oh, crap, I just found. OK, I'm just finding a bunch of stuff <laughs> in my purses that I didn't know were in there. But um, yeah, it comes with this really beautiful um, uh, what's it called leather and um metal uh gold strap i have i think i have a review on this so um you can watch that if you want more details about it but it also comes with this um crossbody leather strap but yes this has definitely been my most used summer bag this year because i've used it so much and it's such a good like vacation bag because you can just is so easily packable because you can like put things in here like I think I, I put I took this on a trip and I put like my socks in here and like um and like uh I can't remember what else but yeah it's so easy to pack and it's so versatile and it goes with like all my summer outfits so definitely takes a spot in my top five most used bags this year um my next one would i guess it would have to be um my ysl um sunset bag in the burgundy velvet i think i also have a um a review on this bag because i use this one so much i have had this for years and i take it out every fall winter time because it's just such a such a great fall winter bag and it's like really really um luxurious with the velvet um yeah i have a review on a lot of the bags that i've noticed that i wear a lot and really love so you can go ahead and check that out but yes love her so much and she's so pretty and yeah every year i take this out and i'm reminded how much i love this bag but yep beautiful and she does have a lot of wear so you can tell that I use her a lot but I think it's just because I love it so much <laughs> so let's put that here and then I guess my number five most used um, bag this year would have to be my um, Dior book tote I also added this to the collection this year I want to say it was like in April or something like that, but I definitely use this way more than I thought. So like on my day offs when I'm carrying around one of my purses, I usually carry this around in my car um, to add like whatever can't fit in one of my other purses. So yeah, I use this way more than I thought. And at first I was kind of scared because it seems so delicate because it's fabric, but I have really been enjoying this bag this year. So that is definitely, um, that definitely is added to my top five most used bags this year. And it's super pretty, yeah. So um, this one is a recent addition and this one is a recent addition. So yep, these are my top five bags this year. And you know what? I am going to add a, um, a honorable mention so the honorable mention would have to go to my big ass or my giant um, this is the GM Neverfull. I have had this bag for so long but it is always my go-to oh my gosh it can't fit in the frame let me scoot everything over I mean I'm sure everybody has seen a Neverfull but I've had this for so long and it is my go-to airplane bag um, cause I, I don't worry about this bag at all and I can stuff so much into it and I know that it's such a basic bag in a lot of people's eyes, but I think that it is basic for a reason because it is so like durable and packable. So yes, this is my honorable mention, my Louis Vuitton, um, monogram, GM, 
um, never full. And you can tell like she has been very well loved. I've used it so much and I always, 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 this is my go-to plane bag. I'm trying to figure out if um, I wanna carry this on the plane or like a couple other bags that I have, but they're just, I don't know, they're just so delicate and I just can't get over how uh, durable this uh, Louis Vuitton uh, canvas is. So definitely my honorable mention. Every plane ride I have taken this year, I have used this bag. And yeah, I think ever since I've got this, it's been my plane and my trip bag. Like when I go on car rides or like weekend trips where I'm not on a plane, I definitely have been using um, the book tote or um, other bags that I have. But this is my tried and true travel bag, the Louis Vuitton GM Neverfull. So yes, that is my honorable mention there. Let's put her, I guess, in the bag. I kind of wanted to see if I can fit everything in the frame. I think this year I've noticed that I have really been gravitating towards um, kind of different like fun bags, but also like, um, I've really gravitated towards totes, which I don't usually do. And um, and I think I've been having a little like a little more fun with my bags lately just because I've been picking out different elements than I um, have picked in the past. So yes, that's a roundup of my um, top five plus one most used bags this year. If you have any questions, let me know and Again, my name's Elle. If you like these kind of videos that are kind of rambly, where I talk about my bags and like frivolous things like that, um, go ahead and like and comment and subscribe or whatever. Um, yeah, thanks guys, bye.